lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be the review of these three babies. This is the Muse collection from Dino Cosmetics including the Hera palette, the Aphrodite palette and the Athena palette. I'm going to show you in just a second. This is also a look that I did today using I think these two, the Aphrodite and the Th Athena palette. I'm going to also talk about exactly what I did with this look today. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sweeties, you saw me raving about this when I got it in my haul for the month of July, I think. Is that true? <laughs> my last haul video. So anyway, that is when I had just gotten them and I, I ordered them actually the minute they dropped, I ordered those. They came in this beautiful box. I have never gotten anything like this ever in my life. This is so beautiful. And I also showed you, of course, in depth in the haul video that you can like pull this open and then all the palettes will get exposed, <laughs> sort of, you know? This is absolutely beautiful. I've never ever had anything like this in my life and I cannot make myself throw this out. I cannot, you know? Usually I do not keep storing my, my palettes in like, packaging like this you know but I can't just not I cannot I, I have to keep it so anyway that is what it is so here we go with the palettes I bought them of course as a bundle they are also available separately as of right now when I'm filming this the Hera palette is not available on the website anymore maybe that was the most most popular one I don't know but I only saw these two as of right now on the website which is end of August 2020 in case you're seeing this later. Okay, maybe let's start with the Hera palette and I'm also going to dip a little bit into Greek mythology because why not? It's the theme of the collection so why not, right? So let's start with the Hera palette. This is how she looks. This is the boldest one of all of them. All of these palettes have 16 shades and all of them have a different theme. So this is Hera and let me just read something about Hera because I did some digging <laughs> because I don't know a lot of this Stuff. You know, I'm totally into like queens and goddesses and stuff, but I, that doesn't mean that I know like terribly much about it. So let's just read this so we all learn something here. So Hera is, in case I'm pronouncing stuff wrong, it's because English is not my mother tongue, okay? So Hera, wife of Zeus and queen of the ancient Greek gods, represented the ideal woman and was goddess of marriage and family. However, she was perhaps most famous for her jealous and vengeful nature. Did you know that? <laughs> principally aimed against the lovers of her husband and their illegitimate Ill 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 <laughs> wow that was hard offspring okay Hera herself was notable as one of the very few deities that remained faithful to her partner and she therefore came to symbolize monogamy and fidel fidelity I think that's how one pronounces it. Okay, so um, I don't know how it must have been to be married to Zeus. <laughs> must have been hard. But uh, yeah, so this is how she looks. This is the outer packaging. And of course, as always, Dido Cosmetics rocked the packaging. Unbelievable. You know, the packaging of the whole collection, but also the packaging of the palettes themselves is so, so beautiful. And also in each case, you really feel like you get what you what you see here. You know, it sort of translates into what you're seeing here. If you just go like this, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is that. In all of these palettes, but especially in this one, because this is the first one I started to work with, and I did my first look with all of those, I did with this one, and I tried, my plan was to go through each palette on its own, and then do like one combined look using all of them. And after the first look, I abandoned that idea, because of, in basically most of those palettes, but especially here, the darkest shades are either shimmers, or they are matte but have like um, micro glitter in it or are something like this you know this is like um, a matte with a, like a shimmer accent on it and that is just not really my makeup style you know I can do it it's not the end of the world and if you do it like a classic smoky eye it is actually really really pretty when you do that I did also a look where I used different greens maybe I can just show you and then when I show you the looks that I did you will recognize it where I did um, this I used this one on the lid and then blended it out with these two here up the crease and that just looked so so gorgeous you know so that is that is like a traditional smoky eye you know beautiful so anyway that works super super well with these palettes but when you do something that is 
you know, other than that, um, it is a little bit difficult to work with just one palette on its own if you are stuck in one makeup style, like I am, mostly, you know? I'm just very traditional in what I feel comfortable with. While I'm maybe not super traditional in the way I'm applying makeup and the, the position, like, how do you say that? The placement. The placement of the shadows and the colorfulness of my looks and whatever, but still I'm pretty much attached to my pure mattes, you know? So that's why after that first look, where I, I think I used, I think it was pretty much neutral. I think I used this one, this one, and then I darkened it up with one of the red or something but you'll see it in, in just a second but um, after that first look I think I really really very quickly went to just combining you know different palettes in different looks and I always did like two palettes I never did three palettes in one look I always combined two and when you're seeing the looks I will also put on the screen which palettes I used for the look okay let me just show you the other palettes and then we'll go into the looks so this is the Athena palette this is how she looks this is also what I used today this is of course like a bit more of a neutral palette also you know I mean the greens and stuff yes but overall it has a very very gentle vibe to it and oh, I forgot to tell you that also in each palette there is one pressed glitter in this one it is this here at the corner and in the Hera palette it was uh, this one here this is also the one I used in one of my looks the other two I didn't use but I will talk about that too so let's just go in and um, tell you what what Athena is. Okay, goddess of wisdom, war and crafts. And favorite daughter of Zeus, Athena was perhaps the wisest, most courageous, and certainly the most resourceful of the Olympian gods. Whatever that means, I didn't really find much more about that. Why she was the most resourceful, I don't know. But told you I'm not so great at this. So this is the outer packaging of the Athena palette. Again super super pretty, super on theme, really really nice. Of course all of them have cardboard packaging, they all have a mirror up here, a big pretty big mirror compared to the palette and of course on the back you have everything you need to know about the palette, you know, the ingredients and all of that. So that is that. Then we are going to the Aphrodite palette, which is this one. Here the pressed glitter is uh, this shade here. It's like a silver kind of a shade. And this is sort of the medium palette between a more subtle one of this one. And then of course the Hera palette that is pretty bold. So bold, bold. <laughs> not bold. So that is of course the Aphrodite palette. This is how it looks from the outside. And again also in the Athena palette and the Aphrodite palette you really do get what you what you see here. You know? You do get it. And that is so so cool that they, they are really good at doing this. So Aphrodite. Okay, Aphrodite was the ancient Greek goddess of sexual love and beauty. Aphrodite was, in fact, widely worshipped as a goddess of the sea and of seafaring. She was also honored as a goddess of war, especially at Sparta, Thebes, and Cyprus, and other places. However, she was known primarily as a goddess of love and fertility, and even occasionally presided over marriage. Although prostitutes considered Aphrodite their own patron, her public cult was generally generally. <laughs> solemn and austere I think I think yeah <laughs> so that is what it is I'm doing my best here with the English so what do we think about the palettes I think initially I was drawn most to the Hera palette because usually I'm more into the darker looks and everything um, but I really really learned to appreciate all of them not necessarily on their own but in their all of their combinations possible and that is really something that adds a lot of like um, richness <laughs> I don't know, to to this whole collection. You know, if you have all of them, you really have it all. So let me just maybe go into the looks and show you what I did. I did really a couple of looks with this to really form an opinion. I have not used all of the shades, but I tried to like get into everything sort of in, into every direction. So let's just go into the looks and then we'll talk a little bit more.
Okay, sweeties, I hope you did enjoy the looks. And now I'm just going to tell you a little bit about today's look. And for that, first of all, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. I hope that this is going to be okay. I'm going to show you what I did in today's look. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about today's look so I can show you a little bit what I did. In the crease, I started out with this one in the inner part of my crease, this green shade here. And then in the middle of the crease, I have this um, teal kind of a matte. And then in the outer part, I have this blue. The blues are really, really beautiful color-wise, okay? Um, Performance-wise, I will still talk about that. Then let me just check what else I did. on. <laughs> I forgot already. Okay, on my lid in the inner part, I put this golden shade. Then I switched back to the Athena palette and in the middle part, sort of, actually, it's not really the middle part, but right next to the golden shade, I put this, which is like a darker golden shade. Then from there, I went into this, like a, like a rusty orange kind of a shade or burnt orange kind of a shade, which is also a nice shimmer. And then I went on, ah, and then I, wait, no, not this one. I went back to the Aphrodite palette and I went into this one, which is uh, like a dark teal shimmer. So that is what I have here. I went for a full cut crease. It probably doesn't come across as that uh, because I didn't do like a clear crisp cut. I just sort of smudged it out a little bit, but that was the general idea. So in my inner corner, I have this shade, which is like a sparkly orange. It feels a little bit more like a topper shade kind of a thing, but it is buildable and it is super pretty. It is probably my most favorite shade in this palette and also my most used shade in this palette. So that's what I did. Um, below my lower lash line, I have, wait, on my lower lash line, I have like a, like a, what is this? Like a plum? This is not a plum. This is like a dark fuchsia kind of a shade. This one is from um, by Davis. You'll have it in the description box. Anyway, this is what I did. And then I, <laughs> I went into this shade and sort of blew it out under my lower lash line. And then I backed it up at the outer parts a little bit with this. Okay, so this is also like a rust kind of a burnt orange matte. That is what I did for today. Am I tearing? <laughs> Anyway, um, that is today's look. I think this was the most intricate and maybe also the most satisfying of all of them, even though the green look that you saw, and I, saw, I also spoke about the classic smoky eye with the greens, um, that was a very, very good look because I just vibe with greens. And the second I put greens on my brushes and on my eyes, I feel good no matter what you know it's always my thing but um today it was it was good because i knew what to do <laughs> that sounds like usually i don't but it is you know i i had to learn how to work with these palettes first impression would not have been so good and also I'll explain why. And also, it is also a thing with me personally right now that, you know, if you are a little bit like me, maybe you do understand that when you have a lot of turmoil in your life, turmoil, turmoil in your life going on, like emotionally or things like this, or a lot of pressure and I don't know, stuff like that, that that will also draw away from your creative powers, you know? So um, I have had that a lot lately and I've had a lot of stress also emotionally. So for me, it felt like um, it's, it's a bit of a rough ride with these palettes. And I wasn't sure, is it the palettes or is it me? Because sometimes I cannot like pull it apart and really see what is it. And sometimes it's really just me. But in this case, I want to say it is a little bit also the palettes, while it is also part of my thing, you know? It's just it's just what it is okay so let me just tell you why I bought those palettes I bought them because I love Ditto cosmetics my first experience and you've also seen that here on my channel if you're not new here then you have seen me featuring the neon palette and the fun break palette uh, these two palettes sweethearts they they conquered my heart in like a in like one heartbeat you know like this this is a full full shimmer palette nine pan palette and then we have these here this is the neon palette okay these two palettes i used in combination and then i also did a review combining both of them these were probably among my most favorite palettes that i got this year these two got gifted by my best friend in the u.s and um 
I'm so so grateful. I'm so grateful that because this introduced me to Dito Cosmetics on a like a personal level. Of course, I knew Dito Cosmetics before from doing my new makeup releases videos, but I never had anything from Dito Cosmetics, and this was just so so good. So that is that. And then I saw the Muse Collection releasing, and I was like, wow! If this is anything like this, what I know and love already, I am going to have a ball with these palettes. You know. I have to say though that it I think according to my experience and what what I feel okay maybe you have to form your own opinion and maybe also go to other channels and look for reviews because this is just my personal opinion and what I felt during this I don't know week and a half that I really only worked with those palettes I feel that there is a big dif difference between these palettes and the Muse collection in the performance now I also have to be fair of course and say that <laughs> these these colors for like, for example here these are very very bright colors you know and when you compare that for example with this palette um, it's like comparing apples and oranges and one shouldn't do that but besides the the impact of the colors let me just put them next to each other because <laughs> let's be fancy um, besides of course the difference in color um, impact I think there was also a difference in performance and it really really pains me to say that but I, I, it doesn't help anyone if I say something that is not right so again this is just my opinion and you can take it or leave it okay anyway um, what do I want to say I think that um, a lot of the mats or some of the mats, let's put it that way, some of the mats just uh, sheared out, you know, when you put them on and you put them on a unset eye base, they work good, you know, they are fine. Are they the most buildable I've ever worked with? No. And they sheer out quite a bit, some of the shades. Now, I have not tried all of them. I don't, I haven't tried this one and this one, which is actually a very, very nice color combination, these here, you know, but I haven't done that yet. Um, I don't know, did I use this one? I'm not 100% sure. So there are shades that I haven't used and I have not formed an opinion on those. But for example, the greens worked really, really well, but greens always work well on me. It's my soul color. But for example, I wanna say the blues, the blues were a bit problematic. Also the purple, unfortunately, I felt a little bit problematic. And then a lot of the shades with all those micro glitters, I just didn't use them, you know? Um, for the most part. I think I tried with this one and this one I did use, but it's just not so much my piece of cake, which is not Dito Cosmetics fault because, you know, they show the palettes on the website and I can choose if I want to buy it or not. And if I see all those shimmer shades, then I just can choose to not buy them. But uh, I love that brand, you know, what can I do? So anyway, <laughs> it's a higher power also the reds were a little bit um, not so buildable and um, a little bit like fading you know so it was not not the easiest um, formula I've ever worked with all of the looks if you ask me turned out okay was it my most brilliant time of my career no no no, it wasn't. But anyway, um, I, I did one look with the pressed glitter. I put it on glitter glue. Um, it did crease. It did crease. So I, that's why I didn't use the other glitters. Um, I did not, I have to also be fair and say that some of the glitters or pressed glitters perform better if you do not put them on a glitter glue. I had the same experience with um, the High Times bundle from Cara Beauty where everything was creasing and shifting around the second I put the glitters on the glitter glue. But in my other looks, when I didn't do that and I just used it as it is in the palette, it performed completely fine. So, you know, there you go. But uh, performance wise, the glitter was fine. There was not a lot of fallout or anything. The binder is really, really okay. And I also have to say that there was no staining from any of the shades, not the reds, not the purples, not the blues. There was no staining at all from any of the shades, which I do appreciate. I don't really like care so much if it does happen. It is not like a deal breaker for me if it does happen, but it's nice if it doesn't happen, obviously, you know? So yeah, so that was that, you know? I, uh, I think I want to live swatch a few shades and then I will just include a like a swatching video as always <laughs> because especially with so many palettes and also with bigger palettes I do that so maybe what are we gonna do maybe we should just swatch um, at least the, also the pressed glitter because I haven't used them so much maybe just 
as always I'm coming unprepared so let me just get oh, sorry for the noise let me just get some wet wipes here and um, let's just go in on a bare arm you know with the pressed litter I'm going to try to swatch it just with um, just with my finger but I think the judging the binder it should be okay so this is the one from the Aphrodite palette the silver one let me just put that right here I think you can see, well I don't know if you can see because it's so light on my light skin but let me just build this up a little bit it does perform really well it does swatch really really well um, there are really some some brands where you cannot swatch the glitters you know not with a with a brush or with your hands they just don't pick up you know and this picks up really really nicely and as I just said also there was no fallout really to, to speak about to speak of <laughs> when I used it in my look it was just that it creased once it was on my eyes for I don't know an hour or something like this but again that could be the issue with the glitter glue and the binder not matching up by the way I use the NYX glitter glue in case that is you know something that you need to know okay this one then let's swatch the blue glitter that I already showed you from the Hera palette they feel super super nice on the hand honestly like really and this is also spectacular because it has like a dark dark and light blue dimension and maybe also like a teal you know it's really pretty and I personally love pressed litter you know that is also if you're new here that you must know you are you I have to tell you that I love pressed litter. That is not an issue for me that I don't like them, okay? Because a lot of people don't like that. And I've also heard other people say that they wish they wouldn't have put the pressed litter in. For me personally, while I do understand those people, for me personally, it's not an issue. I love pressed litter and I always feel like my looks are so much more beautiful and more, I don't know, they say so much more when I have pressed litters on. But anyway, so this is the third one, which is also, wow, now I almost regret Regret that, that I haven't used this yet maybe I should have used this today because it is so pretty it has like of course it's like a gold but it also has like a white and a green bluish sparkle in it like a very subtle sparkle of those other colors it's really really pretty okay so let's maybe also swatch some other colors maybe some of them that I haven't really used yet some of those um, micro glitter mattes so I'm gonna go now to this one here the Aphrodite palette and I'm gonna swatch this blue I am so so good at swatching mattes just so you know <laughs> really all right uh yeah that's that's my typical match swatches <laughs> it's just hilarious i don't know why i can't do it i just cannot do it for so many people swatches look so good but at least it's somewhat straight but you can see maybe that that there is a, like a glitter in it maybe not but just take my word for it that that is what it is so here you go that is that blue i feel the blues were really a bit um not not so good wild blues are always a little bit harder to work with uh, but i just felt like it was it was a bit of a struggle with to, to work with the blues so let's maybe go into the Hera palette and swatch which one should we take maybe this black one here maybe let's take this one <sighs> I'm getting so excited about swatches, sweeties. I just wish I would be already far more advanced and much better at this, but we're getting there. Not giving up. I will keep swatching to my heart's content. Okay, so there we go. This is also one of those glitter shades. This is how it looks. I have not used that in any of my eye looks. Then I also want to swatch this one here. I did use this one. This is the one with this, um, like a shimmer effect on it. It's just, mm. it's a very pretty color. It's a bit crumbly, but I don't recall that being in the look. It's just the swatch. Besides that, it swatches really, really well. And then what else? Oh, I have to show you one shade that was actually so, oh, so beautiful. And that is this one in the Aphrodite palette. It's this green. It's it's such a lovely light green. I just hope it swatches well now because <laughs> it's beautiful, sweeties. It's a very beautiful color. I've used that so much. It probably looks a little bit like also a, like a yellowish kind of a green, which is it's probably true, but it is so so pretty. 
so pretty on the eyes. Um, as inner corner, as also just for blending out on the um, lower lash line and stuff, so pretty. And I also wanted to show you this orange sparkly shade that I've already spoken about here, because why not? While we're already at it, right? <laughs> so that was a little bit thinner. You know, the feeling of it is a little bit thinner, but it does pick up and it does build. So let me just do that. It's a very lovely shade. This is what I have on my inner corner today. This is what it is. I don't know. I hope you can see something. Okay, maybe just one more. Maybe what should we swatch? Maybe the... Ugh, I have sparkles everywhere. One second. <laughs> this is all very life. Okay, turning into a mess. Maybe let's go for that purple because we still haven't really done anything with the purples here in today's video. They feel really really nice and velvety when when you're picking up the shade you know it's really really nice. Um, performance wise though the shimmer was okay. The shimmer was okay it was just the matte uh, purple that was a little bit difficult. I think you can see that this is a nice it's a soft purple. It's not a super vibrant purple, you know? So you also have to have like realistic expectations of a shadow that this is just like a lavender kind of a shadow. It's not like a super vibrant shadow, right? So, okay, so we have to be realistic and <laughs> and see what we have. I think, let me just show you this again here. I think you can see or like get an impression. I think it is a nice performance. It's a good performance. It's not by any means anything bad. It is just that I have had better things from Dito Cosmetics already and of course also from some other brands. But um, it is nothing where I would say, wow, this wasn't that this was horrible or anything. It was not like that at all. I just want to make this really, really clear. I did enjoy working with these palettes. I'm glad that I have them. I'm glad that I supported Dito Cosmetics by me buying them. And I also just think that the whole concept is just so, so beautiful. I love that they went for the, for the goddesses theme. I love the way how they executed it. I love the way they gave a different character to each of the palettes, you know? It's just so, so pretty. And and I love when brands are creative like this in that way, you know? It's it's so much more than just having like a, a black palette with the name slapped on and that's it. While I do not put too much meaning into packaging, if I have it, if it's beautiful, I absolutely do appreciate it, you know? So anyway, besides the, the creasing of that one um, pressed glitter that I told you about, there was no creasing. Fading, um, I, I wouldn't say fading, but again, from the get-go, go the build up of the of the shadows was not the greatest but again you know it's just my makeup style to be a little bit more boom and if you are not that you might not have that problem at all you know so i like to be like really vibrant and in your face on on a regular basis so anyway you know it just took a little bit more work and and that's what it is it's not the end of the world what i also definitely want to mention is that i did get three brushes with those palettes it was just a sale on their on their website that with each palette you can either choose a single shadow or a brush so i chose these three brushes it's like a round blending brush and a flat blending br <laughs> blending brush and like a pencil brush you know and i just want to say i tested them all i washed them also several times and they are spectacular they are super super nice super soft they did not stain with any of the shadows of course i've only used them on their own palettes you know but anyway they are they are really really nice also during washing and I do have quite the washing procedure every single day so everything that that can withstand my cleaning routine of my brushes that is daily you know uh, that is good brushes so I just wanted to point out that these brushes are really really good I cannot tell you the like numbers or anything because they don't have numbers on them so let me just hold them maybe into the camera a little bit closer so in case you want to go and get yourself some these are the ones that I have and uh, yeah, so they were really, really working well. Okay, so and I always enjoy eye brushes. It's so, so good for me. Anyway, so let's just include the swatch video now and then I'm going to finish the video.
okay sweeties now you saw the swatches so let's maybe have like our final conclusion but before that I just want to show you a few other things that I used today so as my highlighter I use this one here from Nomad Cosmetics, which is from the Studio 54 collection. It's a super pretty highlighter. This is the Hot Shot one. Of course, you find everything in the description box that I used for today's look. Just wanted to point it out because, you know, why not? I think it's really, really pretty. And I combined it with this blush here from Jade. This is Cashmere Rose, I think. Yes, it's Cashmere Rose. So this is the one. It's like a dusty rose kind of a color. It's really, really pretty. The uh, By Davis one I already showed you that I have on my lower uh, waterline. And then for my lips I used a lip liner from Kiko Milano which is I don't know which shade that is it's gonna be in the in the description box it's like an orange you know it's it's shade 50 513 but the, the real shade name will be in the description box and on my lips I have a lipstick from Sakara which is a local is that true no it's not true from Beauty Care which is a local brand a very very affordable local Israeli brand which looks like this it's like a coral kind of a shade you know so that is what it is i thought that this could be really really cool to sort of match it you know anyway so maybe let's talk then again about the palettes i think um let's blendability yes but you have to be careful okay blendability is there but you have to be careful not to over blend because then they just sheer out and then you're losing the impact of the shadow I don't know how they would all uh, work on a set surface I always work on an unset surface I use the Sigma eyeshadow primer in case that is interesting for anyone so there is like the the connection between blending and fading you know there is a bit of fading definitely going on in some of the shades you know not everything but in some of the shades um, some shades really built nicely you know like the the oranges and the the yellows for example built really really nicely but with the um, with the reds and the blues I really struggled a little bit you know so that was that I wouldn't call it a dud or anything like that it's not on on a level like this it's just you know uh, it could have been maybe a little bit better because I'm just really really spoiled by these two palettes you know so I'm a spoiled child. So, <laughs> packaging, I already said, so, so beautiful. Shade range in each palette, super, super beautiful. Just again, that according to my personal makeup style, it makes more sense to have the darker mattes, you know? And in especially this palette, as I already told you in depth about it, that there are a lot of shimmery or glittery shades that are the darker ones. Yeah, so that is that. I, shall, I told you about my favorites in the palettes. And um, besides that, that is that. I Do I still love Dito Cosmetics? Definitely. You know, stuff like this doesn't shatter my love for a brand. I don't know if Dito Cosmetics has ever watched any of my content that I made um, about them. I've always tagged them, of course, also on Instagram when I had a video dedicated to them or also when I'm speaking about them in my new makeup releases videos and whatever. I don't know if they've ever seen me. If you do... <laughs> Dear owners of Dito Cosmetics, I love you. I do. I really do. And I really do enjoy your products. Um, th this performance was sort of, I would, I would put it at 80%, while this was 100% you know but I also really again want to be fair and say that I have also not gone through the best time of my life lately so that can also of course definitely influence a person like me in the performance of me performing you know what I mean so that is that um, I'm really really thrilled that I have those palettes I can still wholeheartedly recommend those palettes if these are the color schemes that you're looking for then maybe also just buy one of them if you're not like into all of this you know I think this, for example, the Aphrodite palette is such a nice, oops, <laughs> yeah, uh, such a nice like mid-range palette that can give you also neutral looks, but also this pop of color or several pops of color, you know? This is a very, very, very lovely palette, you know? Just saying. So um, maybe try it. If, if this is your first experience with Dito Cosmetics, I just want to say that there might other, be other palettes on the website that might perform better. Just saying, okay? So, but this is the bundle. I like it. Do I love it super, super much like these two other two palettes? No, but I like it, okay? That is my absolutely true, honest opinion. It pains me to say that I would have loved to just rave about those palettes, but they're okay. They're okay. They're okay quality, but it's not on this level because this was really out of this world amazing you know like I remember the first look that I did with these palettes and I just I, I was absolutely blown away you know just 
you know so that was not my experience now but it was okay all right so I think you can also see that the looks that I created are still beautiful and you know there is like nothing bad happened here nothing bad happened here it's just that when I'm comparing it to even the same brand then there is a difference that's basically what I wanted to say so sorry for rambling on about this for so long but anyway just wanted to really share my heart here and I hope you can appreciate that if you have different opinions if you do have different experiences you can totally share that in the comment section with me and um, you know we can talk about it, it's totally fine besides that if you're new here and you like what you saw today then please subscribe to my channel and feel free to also maybe before you subscribe browse around in my content because I have a whole mixed bag of content that I'm doing here I do quite some lifestyle I'm doing wrapping tutorials and of course I have my makeup content and beauty content so I'm doing a uh, different stuff here you know so <laughs> please only subscribe when you're up for that and besides that um, I hope you have an awesome day I hope you enjoyed yourself here and I will see you here next time for my next video which is coming super soon and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye